Okay, part two. Um, I realized my family wanted me to be like my cousins. They tried to compare me to my cousins. They kept saying, oh, why can't you be like this? Why can't you be like that? But if you're born with disability, you're, you're going to struggle communicating, learning how to keep up, learning how to be like everyone else. Because everyone else, everyone I knew had a phone already. They already have the internet. They already had the basics given to them by their families. They were already coddled in the reality they're living in. They already had academics and they had like portfolios. Again, I was behind. Like I wasn't like cashing up like everybody else. So if you have a family that basically hindered your lifestyle, hinder your choices, you're going to see the world in a different light. Realize that, wow, I was raised in the most unfair environment possible. These people weren't trying to help me. They were trying to kick me down and keep me down. And my only source of communications or understanding the world was a tiny TV in a hoarded house. Because the house was hoarded up and it was leaking, it was falling apart. And my parents were constantly fighting about it, but instead of fixing it, they would just fist fight each other in the damn kitchen. Like, what the heck? Like, we're talking about people that were pretending to be normal people. In their jobs, like pretending there's nothing wrong, pretend everything's fine, pretend there was no mold growing in the house, pretend there was no issues with their kids, pretending their kids were normal, but their kids were in special ed. They were acting their children were like, you know, inconvenience. They didn't want to put me in extracurriculars like everyone else. Everyone else that I knew had extracurriculars. Everyone else I knew, even the people that were poor, has something to do, something to like learn. And the fact that my parents found so inconvenient the idea of taking me shopping and buying me clothes really sealed it for me. It made me think, wow, these people do not care. They do not even want to do the bare minimum and the basics to help me thrive in this environment. They continued to hinder me until I got to my 20s. And they still told me straight to my face, no matter the amount of effort I gave it to them, I took care of their house, I took care of their kids. I took care of the shores and I was still treated like I was a burden, like I was a leash, that I was a horrible child, that I was abusive, that I was controlling. It was so weird. It was a weird dynamic. My parents could be the ones who could easily get up, leave, and disappear for hours. And they would constantly abandon me with the kids and tell me straight to my face, like threatening me like, oh, if you don't do this and that, I'm going to like take away your things and it was something they constantly used that I lost interest. Like, oh, if you want to take away the TV, take away the TV, take away the radio, take away the radio. You want to take away my art supplies, take them. Like, I, there was a point I said, you know what, let, I'm going to let it happen. And they were so angry because I realized they could not they put one over me. They were like mad, mad. Like, they were so angry. The little power they had on me did not have an effect. That's why they tried to get harder at me. They kept trying to get physical at me. They kept get, getting in my face. I'm like, I don't care. I gave up. Like, there was a point in me that I did give up in my life and my choices. But that was nothing personal to me. It was personal to them. Like, everyone I knew kept telling me, oh, my God, I went on vacations. My family, my family, this and that, this and that. My daddy, my mommy. Like, I was like, damn. Like, if I could talk to my parents like they were my friends... My life would have been different if my parents allowed me the internet, you know, like social media before. I would have, like, understand what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the haps? Like, <laughs> the only people that kind of communicated with me about the internet stuff, like, my friends and, like, uh, my cousins. My cousins were in this Christian school, and they do so many inappropriate stuff. It was just so freaking funny. And then my grandmother was like, oh my god, you're teaching the kids inappropriate stuff. You're a bad influence. You're a bad influence. I'm like, grandma, these kids have the internet, their phones. They had like so many things that they should not have in the first place. But you know, whatever. 